What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be doing a double showcase for the newly Extreme Z Awakened Fizz April Fool's Goku and the AGL April Fool's Vegeta. Now, I'll be honest man, I literally just got them easy aid about 30 minutes ago on stream, so I haven't really had a chance to test them out. I don't know exactly how they're going to perform, but based on what I see on paper, they should be very, very impressive, and uh, we'll find out for sure, of course, with this showcase. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I do want to quickly go over their details, so if you guys are already familiar with their, you know, leader skill, passive, all that stuff, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, and we'll get into the showcase. Alright, so starting with the Vegeta here, his uh, leader skill is Vegeta's family, category, or extreme class, key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 44%, super attack, causes supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for 4 turns, and passive is defense plus 88%. At the start of the turn, attack plus 88% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 88% when attacking super class enemies, and his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Prepare for Battle, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, the Saiyan Lineage, Over 9000, and Shattering the Limit. Now moving on to the Goku here, his leader skill is Goku's family category or super class, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 44%, and his super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for 4 turns, just like Vegeta, and his passive is attack plus 88% at the start of the turn, defense plus 88% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 88% when facing extreme class enemies. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, uh, Infighter, All in the Family, the Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right in here and see what these guys can do. Now we're starting here with the uh, AGL Vegeta. We are on the um, Future Trunks Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. And the reason I chose this stage is because there's a mix of extreme class and super class enemies, so both these guys can showcase their full offensive capabilities throughout the video. And Vegeta is starting here with 103,541 defense, which is not too bad. Obviously, he's not getting support from the Goku and Gohan, but uh, yeah, over 100k to start. Let's, um, you know what, let's let the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or sorry, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta attack first for an extra buff, and then we'll let the Vegeta attack and see what kind of damage we can get out of him. Now, of course, since we're facing a super class enemy, Vegeta will get his full passive, so the full 88 plus 88 percent, and we should see some pretty decent damage here, but uh, not really sure what kind of numbers we can expect. Oh, okay. That's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. 2.2 mil right there. We weren't able to see his tanking, obviously, but I'm assuming he would have tanked pretty well considering the type of advantage and also the, um, you know, raising of defense on Super. Now, Goku here is not going to be that impressive, let's be honest, because uh, we're facing Super type, so he doesn't get his additional 88% attack. And his defense is also starting off really low at 42,148. Um, overall, I do believe that the Vegeta is the superior unit for a couple of reasons, right? Number one, Vegeta gets defense to start as opposed to attack, which means that he's a good slot one unit. He doesn't need to attack first to get good defense. And then the other thing is that, uh, you know, there are just more super type enemies in the game compared to extreme type. So, you know, Vegeta's going to be getting that full passive on more events compared to Goku. So those are the two main reasons. Um, aside from that, they're both good units, of course, but uh, I think you will find that Vegeta is going to impress you a little bit more as we go through here. Okay, so now, oh my god, yo. <laughs> so with the added support from the Paragus as well as one super, Vegeta's defense is up to 183,000. That's a huge increase, man, after just one turn. So yeah, he's going to be very tanky right now. I don't think it matters though, because we should be able to kill Vegeta here. Or sorry, a Trunks. We should be able to kill our son. So attack up to 2.78 million. There's a crit 3.7. And Trunks is dead. 
All right, so now I think we're facing a extreme type. Yes, okay, so now we're facing Goku Black. So Goku is gonna get a chance to shine a little bit. We also have type dis or sorry, type advantage, which also helps. So defense is up to 94,515 after one super, plus the support, of course, from the Goku and Gohan. And uh, let's see what kind of damage we can get out of him now. So it went from, what was it before, like 900k up to 1.8 million. A nice increase there. Still not anywhere close to Vegeta, but, um, you know, it, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm going to keep saying this. Like, I do think the Vegeta is better. I think everybody can agree that the Vegeta was the better unit. I'm not really sure why they designed them like that. But that's just the reality, man. Vegeta not only hits harder, but also has better defense. So he's just straight up better than Goku. All right. Uh, we are pretty low on HP, actually. Uh, should we heal up? I, I guess we'll heal up. We took a lot of damage in that first stage. Um, so just for the purpose of this showcase, let's make sure we don't die here. But I don't think we would have died either way. 155k defense from Vegeta. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we leave him in the first slot and test his defense a little bit in case, like, you know, there's a super from Goku Black there, and uh, see how he how well he can you know tank those attacks. Okay, so 51 there. So 1.4 million is the attack stat. Obviously, we did lose the additional 88% attack because um, he is facing. Extreme type, extreme type, but yeah, the tanking still holds up. The defense is still very much holding up, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, we're getting supered on oh, Fizz Vegeta. That's fine. 40k, we can live with that. And now let's quickly check 123,000 defense uh, with the Harrogate support. Of course, he will get a lot more defense after he supers. So here we go. This should finish it off. Goku, show me something good. Yo, this is your time to shine, man. This is your time to shine after this. No, after this, we get one more extreme class enemy before we move on to a couple of uh, more super types. So Goku has one more phase here to show us what he can do. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. But Vegeta has definitely impressed me more overall. Okay, so let's give... Just one orb to him. Let's check the defense here. Uh, once again, 155,000. So it's not going to go higher than that. Mainly because, of course, it's uh, raising attack and defense for four turns, right? So unless you are double supering, you're essentially going to be getting, you know, twice the effect, right? You're going to be stacking twice. If you get double supers, you can stack up to four times. But that's pretty unlikely unless you get really unlucky. Or rather, really lucky. So, yeah, 155k seems to be where he's capping out at without the extra support, which I think is just fine. That will hold up in most events in this game. Uh, getting supered here. Ooh, man, we took a lot of damage there. I forgot how hard this event hits, man. Like, that's that's pretty crazy. All right, so we're going to use another Senzu Bean there. And uh, Goku's defense, 94,515. I'm a little bit concerned about him in the front, but we're going to let him have this moment. We're going to let him, you know, try to impress us a little bit here. So I think we got over 2 million attack last turn. Uh, we're taking a, a normal attack for 40,000 damage. And then we are supering, and now it's double digits. So huge, huge difference from you know, pre-super to post-super, you know, that 88% defense obviously makes a huge difference. So, Goku is obviously not a great first slot unit, but Vegeta can be, but Goku can't be because he doesn't get that defense on his passive until he supers. Big knock against him, honestly. Um, not a big fan of that, but, you know, what can you do? That's just how they designed the card. So, I'm actually gonna, like, I, I wanted to keep the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and the, the you know, AGL Vegeta together, but I'm actually kind of scared now of, uh, you know, those attacks. So I, oh, even with the type of advantage, man, they're still taking quite a bit. 
I mean, still still better than leaving the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta there, that's for sure. Okay, so we got a Dokkan attack here. Um, I wish I could have given it to the AGL Vegeta, but it's okay. It's, it's not a huge deal. So at this point, I think you guys probably have a general idea, like a pretty good idea of what, of what these units can do. Are they the best free-to-play units we've ever seen? Of course not, right? Like there are much better free-to-play units out there, like the uh, you know LR First Form Frieza, for example, or uh, Master Roshi. You know, like the list goes on. But for April Fool's units, for these uh, for these just like you know kind of fun joke units, they're really no joke, man. In fact, I think I'm gonna call this video something like these. April Fool's units are no joke. Something like that. I don't know, man. I'm still working on it, but you guys will see the title when you click on the video. Um, they, they've been pretty impressive. They've been they've been pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, let's give... Wow, we can actually get a super off with Super Saiyan God Vegeta. That doesn't happen a lot. And let's finish this off, and then we're going to move on to the next stage where... The uh, AGL Vegeta will once again be able to get all the attack on his passive and show us some bigger numbers than what we've seen here. Which, uh, you know, obviously against the extreme types, not that good. But against super types, he can definitely put up some pretty, yeah, pretty big damage numbers for once again a free to play unit. Once again, a like joke unit that wasn't really supposed to be that good, but is actually really really good okay here we go now we're against super saiyan blue vegeta uh i'm actually going to who this can be dangerous i just realized uh we have this guy who is int and i'm sure the super saiyan blue vegeta hits really hard so i'm gonna put him at the end we have 162,000 defense on vegeta um he should hold up quite well actually so we'll give him these and then let's get a super off with the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the Paragus doesn't get supered. If he does get supered, we're dead. For sure. That, that That's a fact. But it wouldn't do that to us. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Vegeta's getting supered and 96k. That's solid. That's solid. This Vegeta, I mean, if the other phases were any indication is a hard hitter, right? So for us to tank that super for under 100,000 damage, I think it's very much acceptable. I think that is definitely a win. Considering, yo, especially after seeing Paragus just take a normal for, what was that again? He just took a normal for 110,000 damage. So for, for the Vegeta to tank a super attack for 98,000, that's more than good enough for me more than good enough for me all right uh how are we gonna play this how are we gonna play this uh why don't we hmm let me think i mean obviously i want the two vegetas together but also i don't want to like waste all these orbs on goku <laughs> it just doesn't seem like a good idea uh you know what screw it let's hmm i don't know guys Okay, you know what? Let's split them up. Let's split them up. Let's give all of these to Vegeta so he can heal us almost back to full. And then I can still keep Goku in rotation. Obviously, the, the Vegetas don't get their links together, but we're, we're not here for them. You know, it's not it's not their showcase, so it's not a big deal. All right. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This should be a guaranteed crit, if I remember correctly. Um, that's how he works. Oh, he's not... Wait, what? Oh, no, never mind. That's the... That's the uh, transforming Goku and transforming Vegeta. I got my transforming units mixed up. Yeah, no, or rather uh, transforming Goku and transforming Frieza. So yeah, I got my units mixed up. It's okay though. We got another Super Saiyan Blue Go uh, Vegeta transformation here. It's been a while since I've seen this guy transform into his final state. So that's why I got like everything mixed up, but yeah, uh, let's do, you know what, this time around, I might give the orbs to the Super Saiyan, or the base Vegeta. Nah, never mind, let's just, let's just heal up again. We need it, we, we really need it. But uh, if you guys paid attention to the tanking for the Fizz Goku, 
Um, the last turn, he actually tanked very, very well, right? He took the normals for double digits. We didn't really have to worry about dying there, so that was that was a good look for him. But uh, once again, man, I think if you want to be objective about it, you know, regardless if you're a Goku fanboy or a Vegeta fanboy, Vegeta is just objectively the more impressive unit. Um, they're both good in their own way. You know, they're both... Uh, you know, very solid. They've both shown me a lot of good things, but I mean, as I predicted, as I was suspecting before we even started this video, before I even had a chance to run them, you know, after the Extreme Z Awakenings, um, I kind of knew that Vegeta was going to impress me more, and that turned out to be exactly the case. So uh, there you go, guys. That is going to be today's video. I'm going to call it there. There's no point in finishing this event i mean it's taking a while anyways and i'm sure you guys don't want to sit through the entire thing but um yeah goku and vegeta the april fools units got their extreme z awakenings uh they i think are absolutely worth the the grind they're worth the you know extreme z battle even though or sorry extreme z area even though extreme z areas are really bad okay like i just hate how restricted they are but it is what it is if you guys have the time if you guys have nothing better to do then uh, make sure Make sure to get these guys done as uh, soon as you can. I mean, at least before the event goes away. You got some time, actually. So no need to rush it, but, you know, just get them done before April Fool's is gone because they might not be back for quite some time. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, how you guys feel about the two EZAs. Are you impressed by them? Are you disappointed? Are you neutral? Whatever your feelings. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Good timing. Like the damn video. And uh, of course, if you're new here, your first time watching, then definitely hit that uh, one sec. I'm trying to put this guy, one of these guys in the front. Uh, let's do Vegeta. Let's do Vegeta. He was clearly the superior one. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're new here, then hit that notification bell, hit that actually subscribe button first to join the Tiger Squad, and then hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.